Today I'm going to show you how to install Go Industries Rancher Grill Guard on this 2017 Ford F-250. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we're at the front of our bumper on our driver's side, right by our tow hook. We can see that there's four bolts that is holding everything in place. The two to the outermost side of the bumper, we're actually going to remove those two with an 18 millimeter. Now as you take the second one out, you're going to hear a nut plate fall to the ground. That's fine. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're at the inside wheel well, and you can see the frame here. We have a body mount bolt right below that. There's going to be two 15 millimeter bolts. We're going to remove those as well. We're going to do that on both sides. Next, we're going to take our L-shaped bracket with our welded plate in the center. And you can see that there's two holes on a small flat side. Those are going to line up with the two holes at the front of our bumper. The flat side is going to go to the inside of the bumper. We're going to match up those holes. And then we're going to use a provided long bolt and washer. Go through the front of our bracket, through our bumper. We're going to do that at the top and at the bottom. And we're just going to leave that loose for right now. We're actually not going to put a nut on the back of it yet because we have to go underneath on the inside and put another bracket on the other side. Now you can see the studs of the bolts that we just pushed through. Now on the back, we're going to take an L-shaped bracket and we're going to slide that over our two bolts. Now when you put this bracket on, you want the L portion to be facing towards the outside of the truck and you want the bend in the bracket to be facing down. And then we're going to use a washer on the other side on both bolts and then a locking nut. And we're just going to leave this loose for right now. Now we're back underneath our body mount bolt where we took out our two silver bolts and on the piece that is attached to the bumper there's actually going to be a u-clip uh, nut plate we're going to remove that and then we're going to take another l-shaped bracket this time we want it to be facing up we want the l to be facing the same direction towards the outside of the bumper but this time again it's going to be facing in the upwards direction and we're going to put that right on the back of the bumper plate. And then we're going to use a provided silver bolt in washer. And we're going to go through there. And on the other side, we're going to use another washer and a locking nut. We're just going to leave that loose for right now. We're going to have another bolt through the top, right there. Then same thing, a washer and a nut on the back. Now we're going to take a black bolt and washer and connect our two brackets that we just put on. So the holes are going to be elongated on the ends of both of these brackets and that'll help you to line them up. And then again we're going to put a bolt and a washer through the front and on the back we're going to put another washer and a locking nut. We're going to do that on both holes. Again, bolt with washer through both brackets with another washer. And now 
Now we're going to use a 19 millimeter socket and wrench to tighten up the two bolts holding our two brackets together. Now with those tight, we're going to repeat that process on the opposite side. Now I have somebody at the front of the bumper holding the bracket in place and he's going to use a 19 millimeter socket to tighten down our two bolts. I'm going to be in the back holding that bracket in place while using a 19 millimeter wrench to hold the nut. And we're going to go ahead and tighten these two bolts down. Now that we got the front two bolts tight, we can go down underneath and tighten up the ones on the bottom. Now using a 916 socket and wrench, we're going to tighten up the silver bolts that are at the rear bracket. Now we can lift our grill guard up onto our brackets. Our bracket with the two holes on our grill guard is going to go to the inside of our frame bracket. And we're just going to push that on, level it out, line up our holes, and then we can put our bolts through. Now with our grill guard in place and our holes lined up, we're going to use a bolt and a washer, go through our frame bracket, through our grill guard with a washer and a locking nut on the other side. We're going to do that at both locations. We're going to go ahead and put in the other side and then we can tighten everything down. So once you have it aligned where the front of your rancher grill guard is perpendicular to the ground, we're going to go ahead and use a 19 millimeter socket and wrench to tighten up the two bolts on the side. Then repeat that on the opposite side. That's going to complete the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online.